Hi! Today I'd like to show you the movement of the anhydros here in this very beautiful and rare natural crystal. Now the first anhydro I'd like to show you the movement of. If you can see, it's right in here where my thumbnail is at. This anhydro, it only has a very tiny amount of movement, but you can see when I turn the crystal safely and carefully here, you can see the ancient bubble moving just a little bit in there. It's a small bubble, but it does have a little bit of movement in there. And then right above it, if you can see, there's an ancient and hydro bubble. This is uh, mostly stationary. You can see when I go to turn the crystal, if it does have just a tiny amount of movement, it's very hard to see. So I'll call that bubble stationary right up here. You can see the time link activation right there, the portal to the past. It's very thin. And also, if you can see right there, there's an incredibly tiny uh, anhydro bubble. It's normally really hard to see and find due to the small size. You can see though, when I turn the crystal, it does have a little bit of movement in there. There you go, if you can see it moving. There we go. Just a tiny amount of movement. And the water that's inside of here, now this is regarded as extremely pure, having never been touched before by human hands ever. And this is a Brandberg crystal. It's 18 grams and approximately 90 carats. And also, if you can see here, this has uh, the Lemurian lines here on the crystal. It's what makes it extra special, unique, and rare. And this does have the striations here, but this is more pronounced like uh, the Lemurian line, so I wanted to make sure everyone knows and is aware of that. Let me show you over here on this side. You can see the other uh, Lemurian lines here. It's such a very beautiful and very rare natural crystal. And this also does have some tiny little rainbows in certain areas. Even though the rainbows, though, they're tiny and not always visible. Now, this still does possess the metaphysical properties of the rainbow crystal. Just so everyone knows and is aware of that. You can see how this has some of the growth imprint craters also on the crystal. And also, let me turn it over to show you here. You can see right in here where it's uh, self-healed. It may be like a, a partial or a beginner type of self-healed crystal because not all self-healed crystals are the same. They have different processes within their growth patterning, just so everyone knows and is aware of that. And I do have this zoomed in right now. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to pause this very quickly so I can zoom back out and show you some more of this crystal out here in the natural lighting and I'll briefly talk about some of the metaphysical properties of this crystal also. You can see the tiny little keys right there in the crystal. But I'm going to pause this so I can zoom back out. And I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back. This is the size of this beautiful and rare natural Brandberg crystal. That's an anhydro. And also, you can see that this is a, like a clear quartz here, but it's also reported that no matter what color a Brandberg crystal is, that this does have all of the metaphysical properties of an amethyst, a clear quartz, and a smoky quartz crystal as well, just so everyone knows and is aware of that. And you can see some of the beautiful rainbows right in here when the sunshine reflects off of the crystal at just the right angle. You can see some of those pretty little rainbows in here. And also, before I get started on uh, speaking about some of the metaphysical properties, I wanted to make sure I'm able to show you that if you can notice here on this crystal, even though this is a very rare natural crystal, um, hence the natural, that's why I wanted to show you that this does have a lot of the natural like little markings and nicks some scratches, chips, maybe even little holes in certain areas, the imprints, even like the craters, 
indentations and contact markings and that's because it's taken this type of crystal a very long time to grow and form in nature and as these crystals they're growing and forming in nature in close proximity to one another and you know they have plenty of time where they can do that so they have plenty of time where they can like poke and scratch each other and that's what they've done here and you can see on the body of the crystal especially where they have the natural little markings and nicks and scratches and contact markings even like the imprints and the craters and the indentations and this is all just naturally occurring in nature it's part of the very long beautiful growth process I wanted to make sure that everyone knows and is aware of that and also it's a very hot day here in Florida so I wanted to make sure that everyone knows and is aware that the marker it's already started to come off here on this crystal you can see right in here how it's coming off and over here but I'm definitely going to remark where the anhydro bubbles are located just so everyone knows and is aware of that. You can see that tiny anhydro, it's kind of hard to see and find normally. I do not have this zoomed in. So this is definitely best viewed with magnification and good and safe proper backlighting as well to see the anhydros. And I'm definitely going to be turning a lot, turning this crystal a lot during the making of this video. So hopefully you can uh, see this crystal in full and better details. And within different types of crystal healing sessions and meditation techniques. Now this is a crystal that's reported by numerous individuals. As this is very like healing, very cleansing, balancing, purifying, nurturing, supportive, very spiritual. And also this is incredibly protective. It's reported that if you have a, this type of crystal, a Lemurian crystal, with you, and you hold this in your right hand, and whoever or whatever you choose to encircle and walk around, it creates like a very protective uh, bubble of white light. And this is reported to be like an amulet of protection. This may help to guard and protect you and your loved ones, even your home, your property, and also your belongings. This is also reported to be like the great problem solver of the crystal world. This is also called an all-purpose healing crystal. You can see some more of the natural markings and nicks here in the crystal. Up near the point and on the faces. And it's reported with these types of crystals also that uh, the Lemurians, they lived a very long time ago, very uh, highly spiritual and advanced beings, that when they were here on Earth, they encoded these crystals, and they left messages for us of like healing and love and hope and unity, perseverance, even like uh, messages of like uh, spiritual teachings for us to find at a later date. And it's also reported that if you were to take your finger, and if you... Uh, see these akashic lines right here in the crystal if you were to run your finger in the upward direction during meditation that you may uh, be able to access the information and open a portal and it said that when you're done if you take your finger and you run it in the downward direction that it closes the portal to the information so i wanted to make sure that everyone knows and is aware of that this is a crystal that's reported to be very healing very cleansing balancing, very protective for your auric fields, and this may also help to repair and uh, stabilize your auras. Individuals have reported that this may help you to like open, activate, harmonize, cleanse, balance, re-energize, realign, and that this can work with all of the chakras also. This crystal is reported to be very beneficial also for spiritual growth and spiritual guidance spiritual protection, spiritual progression, for spiritual healing, spiritual cleansing, and even individuals have reported this very beneficial for spiritual awakenings. This may help you with ascension and on your journey to enlightenment. This is also reported to help to facilitate evolution for the planet. This may help to ground you to Mother Gaia and even bond you closer to Mother Earth and Mother Nature. Individuals have reported also that this may help plants and gardens to grow and flourish. This may help to connect you and for you to like feel more at one with uh, nature and the universe. This may help to bond you to other individuals 
And this may also help you to like reconnect with yourself, individuals have reported. And water, as humans, we also have water within us. And there's water within this crystal. And it's reported that we do share a very profound connection with an anhydro crystal that has the water inside of it. Turn a bit better here. Just want to make sure you can see this from different angles here. Water is also reported to be very like cleansing and it's also associated with life. And water is also associated with emotions and this is reported to help you with emotional healing and emotional balance, emotional strength. And also this is reported to be beneficial for emotional maturity. This is a crystal that may help you to increase your self-confidence and your self-esteem. This may help you to get rid of like your shyness. This is also reported to be very beneficial to help you uh, to access like deeper meditative states. This may help you with guided and unguided meditation. This is reported to be very beneficial for like dream work, angel work, light work, grid work, and body healing layouts. This is also reported to be uh, very beneficial to help you to remove and reduce negative energies from people, from places, from things, and also to remove the negative energies from the environment and atmosphere. This may help you with psychic protection and protection during like ceremonial work, spells, and even protection during rituals. This is reported to be very beneficial for earth healing, self healing, Reiki, Feng Shui. Also for like soul healing and karmic cleansing, individuals have reported this is beneficial for. This is also reported beneficial for portal work. This may help you to access like past and future realities, individuals have reported. If you were to keep this uh, very safely and carefully near your work environment or like a healing treatment space, individuals, they've also reported this is very beneficial to help you to activate, increase, and improve your mental clarity. This may help your mental health, your mental sobriety. This may help you to have more focus and concentration, also individuals have reported. This is also reported to help to increase your creative energies, and this may help you with the expansion of your imagination and also the expansion of your consciousness individuals have reported this is beneficial for this may help to bond you closer to your co-workers and your colleagues this may help to increase your energy which may also help your work productivity this may help to increase like your learning abilities and your problem solving skills this is also reported to help you to pay better attention to detail This is a crystal that may help you to learn from your mistakes, also individuals have reported. And this may also help you to not like give up on life, help you to try again. This is reported to help you to remove and reduce the electromagnetic smog and radiation from the environment that's emitted from like computers, cell phones, TVs, radios, microwaves, fax machines, and all types of electronic devices. This may help you to feel more like revitalized, re-energized, and refreshed also. This is reported to be beneficial to help you with like astral uh, travel assistance and astral projection. This may help you with past life healing assistance. This may also help you to promote and provide a direct link to the Akashic Record. And this may help you to access uh, like wisdom, even uh, past wisdom, future knowledge individuals have reported. Also, ancient wisdom. This is reported beneficial to help you to get rid of, like, evil. Even help to remove, like, the lower uh, level entities and unwanted energy attachments as well. I've had individuals report that this may also help to remove, like, uh, bad spells and curses. And this is reported to be very beneficial for self-healing. This is also reported to be like a catalyst for great and major changes to happen within your life. This crystal is also called the crystal of the angels and this may help you to facilitate communications not just with angels and spirit guides but also with the archangels. This may help you to access and feel their love, their guidance, their wisdom and their protection. This may also help you to facilitate communications with like nature spirits and elementals the ancestors and the elders, even with water divas. Let me turn a bit better here. Also with the earth and minerals. 
with ghosts and orbs, with beings of energy, beings of light, with goddesses, also with ancient beings, also with beings from other uh, realities and dimensions, and beings from Atlantis and Lemuria. This is reported to have a beautiful higher realm connection, and this does emit like a lot of divine love and positive energy. This is a crystal also that may help you to activate, increase, and improve your psychic abilities. And this may help with abilities such as like clairaudience and clairvoyance, ESP, intuition, also with scrying, gazing, channeling, telepathy, prophecy, divination, precognition, and psychic visions. Also, individuals have reported this beneficial when you're working with portals and automatic writing and different individuals they are reporting this uh, beneficial for different types of abilities over different time spans, just so everyone knows and is aware of that. And this is very healing for the body. This is a master healing quartz crystal. This may help you to heal through almost any ailment or illness that is affecting you. Different individuals, they report different types of abilities. This may help like uh, your circulation and the circulatory system. This may also help the lymphatic system. This may help you to stimulate the pineal, the pituitary, and the endocrine glands. This is reported as very beneficial to help the brain. This may help to balance the left and the right hemispheres, and this may also help with like uh, the brain tissue strengthening. This is reported very beneficial also to help with like heart issues. This may help the skeletal system, and this may help your bones to heal. This may help the spine and facet joint pain, and this is also reported to help within some cancer and radiation treatments. This is reported to be like a natural antiviral and anti-inflammatory, and this may help you to alleviate some swellings and also uh, bruises. Individuals have reported that this may help you uh, with the relief of some bruises. This may help if you have problems with arthritis, lordosis, arthrosis, rheumatism, osteoporosis, fibromyalgia, and also gout. This is also reported if you have any problems with like your ankles and your feet, your knees, your hips, also your hands and your wrists, your eyes, your ears, your nose, and your throat. This may help with uh, those types of issues. This is reported to be beneficial for men and women's reproductive organs, and I've even had individuals report this may help with some issues of fertility. This may help some hormonal imbalances also. And also some sexual dysfunctions individuals have reported this may help with. This may also help the respiratory system. This may help your lungs. This is also reported to help the digestive system. This may help your liver and the gastrointestinal tract. This may help like your pancreas, your spleen, the bladder, the gallbladder, the kidneys. I've even had individuals report this may help issues related to the thyroid. This may help with some skin conditions also. This may also help you to alleviate some headaches and also some minor issues of dizziness. This may help you to stimulate the immune system and promote cellular regeneration and that is for a speedy recovery when you're not feeling well. And this is also reported to help you to remove and reduce toxins from the body and individuals have reported this very beneficial also to help you to remove and reduce addiction from your life as well. This may help with like drug addiction, food addiction, sex addiction. This may help you to not want to drink or smoke as much, individuals have reported. This may also help you to alleviate some of the feelings that's associated with withdrawal, detoxification, and addiction. Feelings such as like agitation, anger, aggression, even shame, fears, phobias, Bitterness, stress, panic, resentment, and guilt. This may help you to remove and reduce those types of feelings if you're experiencing that. This may also help you to overcome heartache and trauma within this life and also your past lives. This may help to increase like your willpower, your drive, your determination, and your perseverance. This is also a crystal that's reported if you're in a relationship and experiencing any problems or troubles. This may help you to effectively communicate with your partner and loved ones. Hopefully the problems and the troubles do not continue to happen. This may help you to get to like the root of the emotional issues at hand. This may help to heal like a friendship, a family relationship, a business relationship, and also a romantic relationship. This may help to increase like empathy, with 
kindness, patience, even forgiveness. This may help with reconciliation. This may also help you with self-acceptance and self-love. This may help to bond you closer to those who you love and care about as well. Individuals have reported. And this is also reported to help to increase your optimism. This may help you to attract good luck, love, wealth, good health, prosperity, positivity, balance, harmony, even more abundance to your life. And even though this is not amethyst, this is reported to so, uh, have some of the metaphysical properties of an amethyst crystal. An amethyst is a stone of attraction, and this may help you to attract the energies that's needed to attract like a soulmate and more loving, high vibrational, positive energies to your life. And this is also a crystal that's reported if you're experiencing any problems with sleep issues. This may help you to have more peaceful and restful sleep. This may help you to get rid of like bad dreams and nightmares and night terrors. This may also help you with insomnia and lucid dreaming. This is a crystal that may help you to feel better like mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. And if you go to www.etsy, which is spelled E-T-S-Y dot com, backslash sublime soul gifts, and that is all one word, and that is spelled S-U-B-L-I-M-E-S-O-U-L-G-I-F-T-S, I will have a lot more pictures of this beautiful and very rare natural crystal. Not just the pictures, though, but I'm also going to have a lot of information if you'd like to learn more on how this can help you, since I'm only touching base on a few of the properties here. And this does offer a lot more of the metaphysical properties. And also, remember, I'm definitely going to remark where the anhydros are at. The one anhydro only has a tiny amount of movement. The other anhydro is incredibly tiny and normally very hard to see and find, so it's best viewed with magnification. Also good, proper, safe backlighting. And also remember this does have a lot of the natural markings and nicks, scratches, chips, like little holes, imprints, and indentations, and the contact markings as well. And I truly do appreciate everyone. Thank you so very much for taking the time to view this video. And remember, this does offer a lot more metaphysical properties. I was just touching base on a few of them here. This crystal is also reported to help you when you're working with your shadow self. This may help to balance out anything that this is placed near. This is also a reported to help to balance like the male and the female energies and the yin and the yang elements as well. This may help to cleanse your environment and cleanse other crystals and also cleanse yourself. This may help to raise your vibrations and the vibrations of the earth and a lot more properties. And I appreciate everyone and I hope that everyone has a very beautiful and wonderful day. Thanks.